There was a time in my life when I was lost, disconnected from my Creator, my Master, when I was in need and the world would no longer respond to me, I had no one to ask. When I was happy, I had no one to thank. When I felt pain inside, no one would know and I was angry at the world. When I found my Creator, I learned how to love, how to be happy about the blessings in my life, how I was created for paradise, so now I do the deeds that please my Lord. Life isn't just about me, I'm not alone. Thinking about Allah changed my life because it changed my behavior, my actions, the things I was doing. This is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Ala bi dhikri Allahi tatma inna al -quloob. No doubt in the remembrance of Allah, the hearts find rest. True happiness isn't about the things you have or the things you do. It's about the thoughts you have. That's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying dhikrillah, your thoughts about Allah, how you remember Him. So the first secret is that thinking about Allah is the ultimate way to achieving peace and tranquility and contentment of the heart in your life. So no doubt, that dhikr, or thinking about Allah, being connected to Him, is the ultimate way to achieve peace, tranquility and contentment in your life. Dhikr, remembering, thinking or thoughts. Muhammad wakes up to a cold grey morning. He says to himself, what a miserable day. Ahmed wakes up and it's grey and then begins to rain. He looks outside the window and he says, Alhamdulillah, it's raining and begins to make dua. He has a big smile on his face. Muhammad gets into his car to go to work, but it won't start. Now he's really angry. Ahmed gets into his car and has the same problem. He says to himself, I'll take the train. Alhamdulillah, I'll be late, but it will give me time to read some Quran on the way to work. Alhamdulillah. Muhammad arrives at work to be told he's being made redundant. He has a complete meltdown. He gets angry, then upset. And then he says to himself, this is the worst day of my life. Why does it have to happen to me? Ahmed arrives at work to be told the company is making him redundant. He smiles to himself and says, Alhamdulillah, I have one month notice, so I have time to find something else. He says to himself, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has always provided for me and he will never let me down. He begins to thank Allah and makes dua, always looking for the positive in every situation no matter how bad it seems. The primary cause of unhappiness is not what happens to us, but our thoughts about it. Sometimes we cannot control the external factors, things outside of our control, but you can always control how you respond. Your response is the difference between your happiness and your sadness. So thank you for watching, please click on that subscribe button right now because I'll be releasing new videos on a regular basis with some amazing ideas, things that have changed my life and inshallah ta'ala will change yours and uh, be sure to leave your comments, I'd love to know how these ideas are affecting your life and of course not forgetting, tag your friends, share, share the ideas, share the videos and share in the reward. Jazakumullah khair, this is your brother Abdul Shaheed, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.